Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. I cannot do my full thorough normal unboxing of this big Erin Condren launch day haul because the box is too big. But I wanted to show you guys what it came looking like. It came a little bit rough. This is exactly what it looked like when I opened it. Um, everything's jumbled around. It wasn't held in place by enough bubble wrap and the paper's all torn and kind of crazy. So hopefully nothing's damaged and hopefully I got all the right products. So I'm going to take them all out, lay them all out on my filming board and we will get into this. But I wanted to show you what it looked like when it came. This is by far the biggest Erin Condren box that I have ever received. This was my launch day order. And it is also the most rough looking Erin Condren box that I've ever received. I've never had a really damaged box like this and the side is pretty damaged. So it looks like something went on in the delivery. It, it was pretty bent and mangled. So that's what we're looking at here. Okay guys, let's get into this. There was some damage stuff I'll show you and we'll see what I ordered and then we will start going through the hourly and the horizontal and the vertical and the colorful versus the neutral and what last year looked like versus what this year looks like. So because I ordered on launch day, I did get the uh, free reusable bag and they were giving these out until they ran out of them. So this is actually a great shopping bag because it folds right back into this elastic. And I have one in a different print from my spring surprise box. And I have really enjoyed keeping it in the car because it's just folds up so small you can always keep it in there. If you wanna keep one in your purse, that's also a great idea because it folds up so small and weighs like nothing. And so if you need a bag to carry stuff, I think these are great and I think it's a good launch day gift. And it in, it's in her Woven Wonder on navy print. So that is your gift. Along with, there's supposed to be a sticker sheet. Um, I haven't seen that yet. So I'm not sure if my free sticker sheet got left out because I haven't seen it. So we'll, we'll go through this. I just ordered some well-cupped wipes um, for me and my sister. My son and I like to clean our phones with these sometimes. That's mainly what we use them for, but they're alcohol wipes. Um, so we like those. I just ordered some of her magnet bookmarks, page markers, not for me, for my nine year old son who has requested these cause he loves to use them in books that he's reading. And these were so cheap with like the accessories discount because I was ordering whatever number of accessories. So those are for my son. Um, I got the mini snap and bookmarks in the new woven wonder just because I love these mini snap and bookmarks. And I just wanted a set in Woven Wonder kind of to commemorate the pattern for this year. So I absolutely love these. I love them more than any magnet bookmarker. I do not like her ruler. And I've talked a lot about this on Instagram. If you have not joined me on Instagram, I would love to have you there. I check in Instagram every single day and I give so much information and so much content on Instagram. I'm at Amanda's favorites there and that's down below in my description box. So yeah, I have gone on and on about how much I love these on Instagram and they fit on almost any coiled planner. It doesn't have to be Erin Condren. So these are my favorite way to mark places in my Erin Condren or any coiled planner. Okay. Oh, before I forget, this wouldn't even fit up here. I got a big mid-century notebook because Mid-Century Circles is like my favorite pattern of hers, I think. And I wanted to try out her notebook just for some miscellaneous papers I needed to store. So I haven't used it yet. Um, it looks good. I mean, of course, it doesn't have the pockets like notebooks from the store and everything or the easy open, easy shut with one finger like the ones from the store. But it does have the pretty cover. And um, I thought I would give it a try for some storage of some papers. So I will check in on Instagram after I've used this for a while. And I will let you guys know how it's working out. But I do think it's really cute and colorful. So I'm excited to try that out. You get your, you get a postcard with every order so that you can actually reuse and send to someone. And you also get a gift sticker with every order. 
If you are new to Erin Condren, all of this might seem new to you. I actually plan to do a video soon because I had a request um, to do a video for if you're new to Erin Condren, like everything to know. Um, so we will, I hopefully will be getting that video out in June probably. Then you get this and it just tells you all the extras that come with your planner. Our gifts to you, they say. They give you a 20% off your next purchase card. They give you... Um, some gift stickers, some gifting little motivational cards, and and that is all found in this little plan for it pouch that comes in every planner. You get this plan for it pouch, and let me clear this off so we can see this better. You get this plan for it pouch in every planner, and it's a really easy zipper. I actually love these for storage of so many things. I'm actually only using one of these in a planner, the rest of them that I have, I am using just to store things like stickers in, cards in, and they're not actually stuck in a planner. But every plan for it pouch comes with the snap in coil connector. So this is like kind of like a command strip. Well, it is a command strip, I guess it's made by 3M. You put it on here and you snap off this part and then it snaps right into your coil and it works really well. So if you're not gonna use this right away, definitely save it in case you end up wanting to stick it in your planner later. So you get some of these, I forget what she calls them, but here's her new design on kind of your motivational little cards that you can give with little gifts. Um, I actually like the look of these, I think better than last year's. So I like that, the look of those. And then you get some little enjoy gift stickers. I also like the look of these and really nice foiling on there. And then you get a 20% off your next purchase and you can share one with a friend too. And so that's kind of nice that that comes with every single planner in this pouch. Something else that comes with every single planner is a perpetual calendar. Um, now some people say they don't think this needs to come with every planner and that, you know, you should just be able to buy it separately if you want one because you only need one perpetual calendar meaning that, and it comes in your Woven Wonder theme for this year, that you have every month of the year, just, you know, one through however many days are in that month. And then you can write in birthdays or anniversaries or special events and just always keep this book, um, you know, and never have to rewrite one year after year. But people use these books for so many other things. People use them for a daily gratitude People use them to keep track of like just like the year ahead. If you want a big scope and you want to write in like family vacations or travel days or your husband's work travel. So you could also use them to like record your weight. If you're like weighing yourself every week, you could record your weight on here and you can easily look back and see it for every month. Um, you could track your steps for every day. Just write them down at the total at the end. You could put your total calories for the day or points. There's just so many different ways. It could be a habit tracker for so many different things or a gratitude, like I said. So besides being a perpetual calendar to write in birthdays or anniversaries, those type of things, it can be used for just, I mean, a myriad of different purposes, anything you could think of. And then at the back, it has an important contacts, important passwords, and then holidays and dates to remember right here. So... This is a handy little book and I don't mind having a few extras because I've pulled them out and used them for different things. So I actually got three since I ordered three planners and I'm actually happy about that. Like I gave one to my teenage son to use it for something. He didn't mind that it looks kind of girly because he's just staying at home. Um, and so uh, to monitor something about his fitness and everything. So it's even good for that. And so I like having this come with every planner. Um, now, if she was to reduce the price of the planners and take that out, I'd be fine with it too because I could just buy an extra whenever I need it. Okay, so let's get, you know what, let's do this pack first. I did order the uh, launch day bundle because it came out cheaper. I didn't even know it was going to come in a bag. Um, it's actually a nice mesh bag that I can definitely use for storage of stuff. So... Um, with my younger son still having like balls and different things to play with um, or Legos, this can definitely store something in it. So that's actually a good pouch. 
Um, I was already gonna buy her sticker book and I was already gonna buy this dashboard and I was already gonna buy these new colors of her dual tip markers. So with those three together, it was already more than the price of the pack. So I thought, why not get extra bands? Um, you know, just throw them in there because that, that was what came with this. Um, oh, I forget what she called the bundle, but it might've been the launch day bundle or something, but you didn't get to pick your band colors. It just came with this, these band colors. And that of course is the band to hold your planner together around it. And her bands work great. I love her dual tip markers. I have them in all the colors she offers. And so I wanted to add the red and the royal blue. I already have a black because it came with one of the packs. But you can't have too many black. And I only have one black. So um, I wanted the red and the royal blue for the holiday months. You know, 4th of July. And then for Christmas and Valentine's, I didn't ever have a red. So I had to pick up this pack while she had it. That was something I was excited about. I do not really use dashboards, but I'm going to see if I'm going to use this one. I thought for like the month, I might write in my top priorities for the month, not even, not for a week, you know, like the big major things to get done that month. And then um, I probably won't use this habit tracker on here for the month because um, I don't really have anything I want to habit track on here. Um, I have my Inkwell food and fitness planner with habit trackers in it, and I really don't need another habit tracker, but I thought this might help me stay on top of just a few big things for the month. We'll see if I end up using it or not, but I thought it was a good idea for a new dashboard, and you know what? I should show you the back of it. Okay, so here's the front of the dashboard, and then the back is really good for people who like to meal plan. Of course, the front is kind of focused on a monthly view because this is tracking a habit for a month, but this is focused on a weekly view and it's really nice rose gold on there. It's beautiful actually for um, weekly meal planning. And this is actually my idea about how to use one of her dashboards for meal planning. And you could do the same thing over here on the pretty one instead of having to write in your days of the week. So um, I just wrote in with Sharpie because you can take it off with fingernail polish remover or alcohol, rubbing alcohol or alcohol wipes. But um, I said you um, buy these sticky notes that are one and a half by two inches. So together, full size, they're that big. You cut them right in half and the stickies on this side. And then you write all your family favorite meals. And then you can store those on like the back of your planner right here, like all your family's favorite meals will be stored here on sticky notes. And then for the week, you just look there, you pick out which meals you're going to have and you place them in on the night that they're going to go on. And then they're easy to move around if you don't end up having it and you want to move it to another night. Or if you just don't have it all together and you want to move it off the week, it's easy to change things around and start fresh each week. So that's my recommendation with how to do a meal planner with this. So that's great too. You could also use this to write in like your big appointments or events of the week. If you just want like a scope right there, uh, timed appointments or something like that for the week. So that's another idea about how to use it. Here is her newest sticker book for this year. She of course does a sticker book each year to match her new theme. And this year it's woven wonder. I actually love the white behind the woven wonder way more than the navy and that surprises me because I love navy blue navy blue is my favorite color probably if you ask me my favorite color um I love navy blue and so the fact that I don't I just don't think they made a good navy with this it just didn't it didn't do it for me the navy they picked and so I actually like the woven wonder on white better so I'm glad the sticker book has that it's really pretty with rose gold and the stickers in it are beautiful. I don't use a lot of stickers. If you know me, I will just flip through this while I talk. I don't use a lot of stickers, but I do love her seasonal sticker book that she comes out with each year. And I have that, and I have shown that in many videos. I love her seasonal sticker book because it's a page per month, and it goes along with the seasons and the holidays, and I love that. Um, but... 
I know that I will use some of these. They do add a lot of pop to the page. They just add fun. Basically, they just make your planning fun, but I don't use a lot of stickers because I need my room for functional planning. And I'm not someone who writes every appointment on stickers and puts that in there. Um, I'm a really a functional planner, if you're new to my channel and you don't know that. So these stickers are actually different. So these are all normal up to this page. These are all paper stickers. These are actually feel kind of like a vellum sticker and they're kind of see-through. Well, they are see-through. I don't know why I'm saying kind of. Like they are see-through. So that's really cool. These are beautiful, really. Um, usually how I do stickers is I just go in and place the big events and stickers for like the whole year. And then I rarely mess with stickers much for the rest of the year. Because I just don't have time for that and I just don't plan that way. So I will like take a day to plan out our year major events and put some stickers in my planner. Now these are back to paper, normal paper stickers. And then these are back to vellum. These are back to vellum. I have to say, they've kind of outdone themselves with these stickers this year. They're really bright and beautiful and just amazing. These are paper again. I love that one. Make it happen. And then these are the vellum again, the see-through, but they are clear. Clear stickers. So that is really cool. I will definitely use these. These will be fun to stick in my planner and just... You know, it makes this little pop in your week makes a hard week just seem a little bit better. So that is her new sticker book. If you like like a pop of stuff like this, I highly recommend it. It's like, it's beautiful this year. And also I love her seasonal sticker book. Okay, I'm trying not to make this video too long for you guys, but there is just really a lot to show. Okay, this will be my main planner for next year. So I did order the gold rings. Oh, how I wish she would make the rings smaller. Um, darn it, because it looks even bigger than my last year's. This is a 12 month only planner. I am going to academic year planning now. I have not been an academic year gal in the past, but with starting this channel, I realized with the launches, I have to change to academic year. So these are my gold rings from this year, which my planner this year was calendar year. I'm going to academic year because that's when the launch is for Erin Condren and I always want to get the new stuff to be able to film for my channel and it just makes more sense to switch to academic year. So, so it does look like my rings this year are bigger than last year's, which makes me upset because I really don't want to uncoil and change them. Um, I haven't done that yet, but there's a lot of YouTube videos on it. I'm not that scared to do it, but I wish they were even smaller than this. This was a 12 month also, and this is a 12 month. So I don't know why I had to get bigger rings. I know they put big rings on to account for sticker people for it to expand, but this to me is just overkill. And I know I say this all the time, I complain about it. And I could uncoil it and actually put it in one of her notebook rings, and that would be the perfect size for me. But all my notebooks are only silver rings, and I paid extra for these gold. So I'm gonna have to think about maybe getting a notebook with gold rings so I could do that. I think you have the option to put gold rings on a notebook. I haven't even checked on that. So I'll have to check into that. So there's my spiel because yeah, that's how I feel about big rings. They just get in the way when they're overly big for the size of your planner. And you're not a sticker person. So I think they should have a choice ordering an extra big ring or a smaller ring. I wish they had that option. Okay, a ruler comes with every single planner. I do not care for the Erin Condren rulers. Um, they're too thick for me to make writing over them easily. They do come with this removable um, protective film. So just know you can take the film off and then it looks a lot nicer. But I don't care for her rulers. I love the mini snap and bookmarks. And I have an extra one right here to show you guys. Um, I love these. We'll just pop this in right here to show you because it's not too thick. It doesn't take up your whole page. It's so easy to flip and you can easily see where you are and turn right to it. And it's really thin. So it doesn't leave a bump when you're writing like the ruler. So I just prefer these over the ruler. The Erin Condren ruler is not my favorite. 
Um, for any coiled planner, I prefer these. And people have asked, how did my gold rings do from last year? Um, you might be able to see a little bit um, of edges sloughing off inside there. I'm not sure if you can see. But um, it doesn't look bad. And But also, I don't take my planner with me anywhere. My planner stays on my desk at home for the entire year. So it does not get a lot of wear and tear on there. And also, I have people ask me all the time where this cover is from. It's from her spring seasonal surprise box. And it was exclusive to that box. So it's a cover she does not sell, sell and she will not be selling. So I'm sorry that cover is not available. Okay, so I ordered a vertical colorful again for this year. And that is what I had for last year. But this is a calendar year planner and this is an academic year. So her academic year goes from July through the end of June. So this is July 2018 through June 2019. She has pretty much stayed with her same colors. Let's go through here. But, you know, they look different. They're a little bit more muted because they're in a different motif. So we'll go through here and then we'll compare some of the months in last year's planner. Okay. And right now, you guys, I am getting a whiff of that Erin Condren paper and it smells so darn good. I'm just going to say it. I love the way Erin Condren paper smells and just opening a brand new planner. It smells good. This is the cover I picked for this. Not that it will stay on here all year, but I loved the gold pineapple with the blue background. I wished this was one you could change the colorway and change the background to navy because I would have absolutely gone crazy over that. And I decided to put my channel name on here because I just thought on the big gold pineapple that looked cool. So I really like this cover. The pineapple is a little bit damaged on the back with um, that black mark. But, I mean, it's nothing I'm going to worry about. It's beautiful. So I really wish her asterisk wasn't in there. I wish it was just plain gold. But that is just a personal preference. Okay, so let's get into the Woven Wonder. Woven Wonder is, of course, her new theme for this year. If you are new to Erin Condren, let me show you what Painted Petals looked like from last year. Last year was Painted Petals. And so this is Woven Wonder. Each year she comes up with a new theme, which I love because it gives you something fresh and new every year for your planning. So Woven Wonder, and she said like the theme is like weaving us all together, you know, in the planner community. And I like the idea of that theme. This comes with a beautiful vellum page in the front. And of course your dashboard, which you can write on with Sharpie, Sharpie marker if you don't want it to come off. Um, until you remove it with nail polish remover or alcohol, or you can write on it with wet erase markers, or you can put sticky notes on it, so it's very useful. Then you have your nameplate page. Then you have your Woven Wonder theme here with a quote. Like I said, I'm, I don't know, I'm not as crazy about the pattern on navy, and that's just a personal preference. I love the Woven Wonder pattern on white. So this is beautiful. You get all your months from July 2018 through December 2019, to be able to just have a scope of your whole year. People use these pages all different ways. I honestly don't use them with color coding dots or anything like that. I just use them to look at and reference. Sometimes I will circle big days on here um, or I might highlight all my kids' days off school. So I might do that, but I don't do any like color coding dots or any big system on these pages, just me personally. I love this page and I love how it looks this year. I love the rainbow of colors on it. I love how she leaves the 12 boxes blank without the names of the months so that if you don't want to use it, as in, you know, January, February, March, April, uh, or July, you know, whenever your planner is starting, I would be starting in July. If you don't want to use it for months, you can use this page for anything you want to. It can be for memory keeping. It can be for keeping track of big bills every month. What I've been using mine for is keeping track of big bills every month. So what I did last year was go in here and write like when we went to the dentist, when we went to the eye doctor, um, when our prime membership money is due, when are our well checks due, when is our car insurance due, when's our HOA due. So those big doctor and dentist appointments and big bills do that only come one to two times a year. Our life insurance, um, when we get our AC checkup. So 
That's how I use mine. People can use them for birthdays and anniversaries. You can use them to map out vacations. There is just numerous and no end to the uses that you can use those pages for, for sure. Okay, then you have a just a blank line notes page on the back of that. And then you get into your months, which if you picked an academic to start now, then it's going to start in July. And July is like the navy blue color. And I will try to come in here and as we do these months, kind of show you a little bit different from last year. So that's last year's painted petals. It's just more saturated. It's darker. And I really do think I prefer the darker, more saturated look. But I don't not like the Woven Wonder. And I love that she changes her theme every year. But just if I had to pick one, you know, which one do I like better? I think I would pick the darker, more saturated painted petals. And that's just personal preference. Okay, so what does your monthly look like in the Erin Condren? You have notes on this side and you have a view. This is new added to your next month ahead. So that was not on last year. So here's my last year's. And you can see it's just a note section. There's no month ahead here. So, and you can see how the Woven Wonder looks compared to the Painted Petals, more saturated. So she's sticking with, you know, the same monthly colors, which I like because they're seasonal and they flow with the holidays and the seasons in the U.S. I know that doesn't work for around the world. Um, so that's what it looks like. And like I said, this is my calendar year that I'm using right now. And I think, I'm not positive, but since I've already pre-planned all the way ahead, because I pre-plan a lot, I do not wait until it gets to things. I, I pre-plan ahead and I've already placed all my stickers for my seasonal sticker book, because like I told you, I go and stick in all my stickers and then I really don't do much more with it because I just don't basically have the time for that. So I just stick them in once. And so I think I will continue using this planner through the end of the year. And so this planner will go unused for six months, but I wanted to switch to the academic year. So that's what I needed to do, basically, if that makes sense to you guys. Okay, so then we go in and you get your last week of June because July 1st starts on a, is on a Sunday this year. So you get your last week of June and then you go into your July. So let's look at what this looks like compared to last year or this year, Painted Petals. Like I said, see how I pre-placed my stickers? They're all already here. So that's why also my events are already written in. And I think I'm just going to stay in this planner through the end of the year. It will be hard to not wanna switch, but I love the Painted Petals. So also, I so I'm, I'm good with that. It's a lot less work for me. <laughs> um, but also, the thought of starting over a clean slate and replanning everything maybe more neatly sounds fun. But then all my pretty stickers are wasted and my time. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm going in between what I'm thinking. Who knows? I'll probably change my mind back and forth for a while before I decide. But I have all the way till July to decide. So we'll see what I do. But to turn to a page that has less on it, this is what your painted petals page looks like. And this is what your woven wonder looks like. You still have the same ombre effect. And from what I can tell, these colors look identical in the boxes, identical to last year. So these colors have not changed in these boxes at all from last year. The fonts have not changed from last year. So only this corner, you get the painted petals in the corner or you get the woven wonder in the corner. And you get your same box here. You get your lined note spots here and your same thing along the bottom. So that is what it looks like. And that's what this is called Vertical Colorful. If you are new to Erin Condren, I did not order a neutral in Vertical. I ordered the neutral in an hourly to show you guys. So here's what Vertical Neutral looks like from last year. This is last year's Erin Condren, and it's very similar this year. Um, so you can go online and look at the pictures, but this is very similar because you just have less color in a neutral. Your tabs are all black and you don't have the color at the top of your boxes. You don't have the color splash of the Woven Wonder. All you have is a flag. That is your splash of color. 
And so also you can tell the fonts are a little bit different. So that's something else to note also. And your boxes here are tiny little dots in the neutral, if you can see that. And in your colorful, it is a full line. It's a line, they're not tiny little dots. So that is what the neutral looks like. I have a full comparison on colorful versus neutral on my Erin Condren playlist. If you want more of an up close comparison of color versus neutral, if you're trying to decide between that. So that's what July looks like. Then we get to August and here is the big change you guys. I didn't mention this before when we were on this page. She has changed back to just this lined note page, which from what I've heard, I think everyone's happy about. So let me go to my August in here so we can be on the same color. This is what your August page looked like last year. You had four circles and then you have this line. Now my stickers covering up the middle and then you had two columns and these are stickers I added. You had this big blank box at the bottom. This was last year's painted petals. And I actually like this big scope of color at the top. I kind of miss that. Um, but I think having just the lines is more functional for most people. Most things I wanted to write didn't fit in the circle. I didn't mind this page at all, but I think I'll also be fine with this page. I don't know. We'll see when I start to use it. I kind of developed a system for what I needed to keep track of on this page. And so maybe I'm going to miss it. This was like when we went to my in-laws for dinner so we could keep track for Sunday dinners. This is when we saw my parents that month. This is when we bought donuts that month so that my younger kid couldn't say we didn't get our monthly donuts. <laughs> um, and then this is keeping track of dates, although I sometimes ran out of room in there. These were just major things that happened that month that I wanted to remember. So I did have a way, a system of using these monthlies. And so I might miss it. I don't know. I definitely miss the more color on it the big color that's on it, but we'll see. I know I can make the line pages work for me, so that's not an issue. Here's what August looked like in Painted Petals, and here's what it looks like in uh, Woven Wonder. Okay, guys, let's see what August looks like right here, and then I am just going to do a flip through of the colors for you guys. Now, I actually like how August is brighter in here. I didn't really like the dark, dark mustard, of August there. So I actually like that. I'm going to do a flip through so you can see all the colors. Okay guys, so when your planner ends, let me show you what's at the end and then I'm gonna go back and point out some details in the weekly. And we won't do a color flip through on the other planners because you will have already seen it here. Um, so here is your note section. So you have two lined pages here, one's on the tab, then you have another lined page. Then you go into some dot grid pages in which the Woven Wonder theme is kind of on there on the corners. You have four dot grid pages then you have some coloring pages. This year it's some jungle palm leaves and llamas and some flowers. I personally would rather have more notes pages, just line notes pages. I don't need coloring pages because I don't have time to color. <laughs> the only time I would have time to color would be sitting in church listening. Um, and I don't bring my planner to church or map pencils. So I'm not going to be coloring this. Although that could be a calming thing while listening in church. But I'm not bringing it to do that. So it's kind of a waste of pages for me personally. Um, they added a new section this year. It is called contacts. It even gets a tab. And I'm a little bit perplexed at this. Some people like it. I know. I would rather have more notes pages. <laughs> I don't need contacts in the back because I keep them all in my phone and the ones I don't keep in my phone, um, I have an address book. And so I, there's no way I would be rewriting my contacts every year. 
And if I randomly came across someone, I needed to just write down a contact. I could do that just as well on a notes pages, which is just so much more versatile. You could make a whole notes page into your contacts page. And then for the people who don't need it, it's just, it's another notes page. It's more versatile. So this just boxes you in. Um, it's cute and colorful, but I just feel like it's wasted and it costs them more. They put a whole tab on just that page. So that's just my opinion. I love this page. This is your future planning page for 2020. And um, yeah, I know 2020, doesn't it look good written down? But these are for any of your appointments or a wedding or anything big you have come up when you're working in this planner. And I like these boxes down here that say in the coming year. And that way you can put those appointments for when you get your next planner. They're definitely in here. Even though I put all those appointments in my phone, um, if I don't have my planner to put them in, I like to write them in here too. It's just, it's another way to make sure I don't miss them. I do use my iCal in conjunction with my planner. Pretty much it just holds our appointments and timed events like that. But there's no way I could just work off my phone. I mean, I do everything else in my planner. But I often get that question. Okay, then you have another quote. And then you have her four pages of stickers. I think it's four that's coming with this planner. Yeah, so you have these beautiful stickers for planning. So it already comes with a lot of stickers if you don't buy a sticker book. And I mean, they're, they're foil. They're beautiful. This is new this year. She did not have any of these type of stickers last year in the planner. So they're really cute and fun. Gem bags, a whisk, a spatula. I don't know that I will use most of these because I'm not a big sticker planner, but I do think they're really cute for the sticker people. Then she has less of these functional stickers. And personally, I don't think these are too functional. Other sticker companies make them better. The white space needs to be bigger and they need to be even made a little thinner. Like if the white space extended the whole sticker except for this end. And personally, I would like the end to be blank to write in the appointment time. And then this could be the appointment because they're not big enough for me for the appointment time. And the white space is not big enough for me. And I wish they were a little slimmer. So these are not my favorite stickers. I started using them last year for the first time and they're just, they're not my favorite, but there's only one page of those. I always tear out my sticker sheets and then just cut the spiral thing. And then I store the ones I want to use back here because they're very hard for me to come look back here for a sticker and take it off. Like I want to be able to pull out my sticker sheets and be on the page that I'm on if that makes sense. So I always tear mine out. They're not easy to use when they're back here for me. You have a pocket right here, and then you have this tiny pocket, which is so darn cute, but is not functional for me. They had the same pocket last year, the same pocket design, and you just can't stick much in that pocket to me. <laughs> like, you can stick a sheet of paper folded into fourths in there, but anything else, if I didn't fold it into fourths, it ends up coming out because there's just not much room holding it. So um, I love the way it looks, but I wish they would make that pocket taller, like up to here, but I don't know. So they're not hiring me, that's for sure. Anyway, okay, let's go into the things I wanted to show you about the monthlies. So I wanted to show you that on the colorful, this is different than the neutral. When there's a holiday or like autumn begins, look, they give you those little leaves. All your holidays are written on here in that little small black print at the bottom of your monthly box. You also have moon cycles on here. You also have previous month's days written lightly. Um, it is a Sunday start calendar. So let's see if I can show you like Thanksgiving with the turkey. I just like these little touches. And those were only in the colorful last year. And I'm sure that's the case for this year. I will check when we get to the neutral hourly planner. And like when your clocks fall back, I just like that they put this colorful arrow. So things just stand out. These holidays are also transferred and written on your pages up here, which I really like. See Halloween's printed here and then fall back daylight savings time ends. So your holidays are printed above the day. Sorry guys, right there. And then like your daylight savings time. So everything that's printed on your monthly calendar is printed on your day too, which I find very helpful myself. Something to note, 
when a week ends, you will notice October ends here, you have your color switch right on the day it ends and a flag denotes a new month starting. So it stands out. So that's the way that that works. Let me show you another month so we can see a different example. Okay, so the one day is gonna be, oh, that month ended correctly. So we can't use that as an example. Let's go here and see how December ends. Um, so you do not have double weeks or anything like in some planners. You just have your month is ending here and then your new month, January, the flag denotes it is starting here and the new colors. So you'll see that. That is the way her months transition. So like this is January 27th. Then you go into your February month right here and you finish out January and then you start February. I personally love that. I love the big visual on the color changing and being able to see that for the month. Many people will probably go away asking, how do I plan in my Erin Condren? And I cannot add that into this video because it's just too long about what I use each box for. I have a whole playlist called um, Planning Updates and it's called an updates playlist, I think. And it is per quarter. I go in every quarter and tell you how I'm planning that quarter, if anything has changed. I use a weekly Erin Condren and I use daily planners, which I switch out a lot to try different ones. And so I update you once a quarter and how I'm planning. And in there, I tell you all about how I use my Erin Condren. I put the weather down here. I put my workout down here. I put my go-to appointment, timed appointments or big things of the day up here. So if you want to know all that, check out my planning updates um, playlist. I give a lot of info in there. Okay, so that is your full colorful vertical planner. So we're gonna go through the other ones a little bit faster. I have a neutral hourly, and then I have a colorful horizontal. So let's go through these. I love this new cover that she had too. I put let's do this, cause that's kind of like my motto, my theme. It is what I say almost every morning to my teenage son as we get out of the van in the dark morning at the gym just to motivate myself, <laughs> right when we need to be getting out and we're sitting there, I say, let's do this. So that's kind of my theme for everything in life that I don't want to get out and do. So every planner comes with your ruler. Like I said, I don't love the ruler, so this doesn't bother me. Let me throw down this plastic. But this ruler was off the planner when it came in that jumbled box and it was, these tabs are already broken and messed up. I don't know how well you can tell that, but so I'm not upset because I don't even use this ruler. So that's fine with me, but that's something to note that that did happen. These seem about the same big size of rings as the gold. I will show you a comparison. My sister had her order shipped to me because she's traveling the country in an RV right now. And she just got a new 18 month Erin Condren. And so if you look at the size of the rings, I don't know that there is a difference. In her, she got the 18 month. You can tell it's much thicker, full of pages, but I guess the rings might be a tiny bit bigger. Um, I'll measure it by centimeter first. So it's just under three and a half centimeters. And let's see, this one is like right, um, I mean, it might be a tiny smaller, like a millimeter. <laughs> so my rings for my 12 month are not really smaller than the 18 month, and that confuses me. Let's move on. So this is the neutral. So I'm gonna be showing you how the neutral color looks. And it transfers over to the vertical or the horizontal. If you're getting the neutral, you get a black vellum page here. And then you, huh, that's weird. I would have thought in the neutral that there wouldn't be this color here, but I guess there is, and that is just written in um, black, yeah. So here is the, um, I actually like the way the neutral cover page there looks better than the cover page in the colorful. So this is the cover page you get in the colorful and this is the cover page you get in the neutral. So I actually like the neutral cover page better. Then in the neutral though, you're not gonna get any color at the top of this page. And I really like the color at the top of this page in the colorful. So in the neutral, you're not gonna get that. You're not gonna have that color of the woven wonder at the top. Then 
your like advanced planning 12 boxes, could be 12 months page, looks different. You get some color with the words, but you don't have the woven wonder at the top is black, and then your boxes are not colored. So they are just, they are those tiny little dots that are used in the neutral and to form your boxes. So you do lose all that color on your boxes. Then this is the way your month is going to look for July compared, and you notice your flag is kind of a gray. And this is compared with your colorful. That's how the difference is going to look. And actually the flag is the gray just in a different way and right here. So if that's not that different. Um, so the, whatever the monthly color is, it's just going to be in a really light. You'll see like this is yellow for August. September is purple. It's just going to be really light on that page with the Woven Wonder design. And orange for October. November is a blue. December is your lime green. January is your blue. February. March is your green. April, purple. May is your peach. Everything would be easier to turn if the rings weren't so darn big. June. And so let's get into how the neutral looks then. It's really just the rings being big. That makes it hard to turn. <laughs> okay, this is the way your neutral calendar looks. So take a look. It's really completely different from the colorful. It has a different font type. So I'll throw this in here for just the top. So this is the top of the colorful. This is the top of the neutral. The font's different. The lines in the neutral are the dotted little lines. These are the full lines. So you don't even have your, your days boxed in up here. It's just, it's a different look. It's really clean, um, fresh looking. So, and this is the way your notes pages looks right here. You still have your monthly view. So there's all your moon cycles, the same moon cycles, the same holidays will be on there. Okay. You just don't get the color on the page. Let's look at the hourly and examine this. I did not get an hourly last year to play with at all. This year in the hour, hourly, people are showing the big change they made was making these lines in between each hour darker. So these are darker. So you have each hour and then you have a spot for a half hour. Um, and it goes from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So I'm going to show you an up close of this here. And then you can see the font they've used at the top. This is, of course, the neutral. If it in the colorful, this is completely colored in with the color of the month. So in the neutral, you only just have your flag, and that's going to carry over to whether you order the vertical or the horizontal. The neutral is going to look like this. You're going to have that little box, but in the hourly, it's a little bit different. You have tick off circles on here on your to do list on the side, which that is not in your vertical or horizontal. I'm sorry, horizontal doesn't even have that. It's not in your vertical like that. You just, you don't have those little tick off circles. It's just lines. So it's always a Monday start in Erin Condren for your week. So your weekend is together here, but it is a Sunday start monthly calendar spread. So I want to make sure I note that if you're new to Erin Condren. So that is just your hourly. Every moment of the day is taken up from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., you have one box unlabeled down here. So you could use that for dinner or workout or something you're tracking. But when the month changes in a neutral here in the hourly, it is noted with a little asterisk with the color of that month on the first day of that month. So I want to note that. And you can tell the color change of the month, even in the neutral, because you have June is your green and then it switches to your blue for July. The holiday in the hourly is just written right there above. So this is a lot of empty space up here that you can use this margin for something else. You could put your weather up here. You could put something you're tracking up here. So there is space up there to use that also. Okay, so that's your hourly. We've been over the calendar. The end pages at the back are exactly the same. The notes, the contacts, the stickers are exactly the same, except your pocket is a different color. 
So here is your pocket in the neutral, and then here is your pocket in the colorful, if you want to see those two. And then the backs of them will flip, and that is the neutral, and this is the colorful. Okay, now we're going to go really quickly through the horizontal, because I know you guys are tired by this point, and you have finished all your popcorn and Diet Coke, and you're done with me. So we need to get through this. Last year, I got a neutral horizontal, and that is what I'm doing my Erin Condren photo journaling in, and it continues through the end of this year. And I have whole videos on that on my journaling playlist. And I also have it on my updates playlist because I do a journals update every month. So I am photo journaling in my Erin Condren neutral horizontal from last year. But this year, I got a colorful horizontal. I will not use it for photo journaling again because I'm going to take a break from that. It's been a lot of work. This is a color cover that you can change your colorway on. So I actually chose the background color and the color of the words of this scripture. So I love those covers that you can choose your own colorway. Here is your colorful. So it's all the same pages in the beginning. We're just going to get your monthlies look the same in everyone. What does a week look in a horizontal? This is what a colorful week looks like. You have your lined box, but the lines are really lightly dotted. So if you can see that really lightly dotted, and then you have a darker dotted line for a box here, and that is it. You have the same Woven Wonder theme in each corner. You have your month changes right on the same day with a flag to note it, and you have a notes box down here at the bottom. So that is what her horizontal layout looks like. And if it is neutral, then you just do not have any of this color. Take a look on her site. You don't have that color. So it's very similar to the hourly with the little flag and the month written. Um, also, you can see my neutral from this year, 2018, in um, my journaling videos. But I decided to get a colorful um, horizontal this year. I have a few ideas of what I may or may not use it for and play around with it. But since I got a neutral last year of this one, I wanted to have a colorful. I really wanted to get the colorful hourly too. I am just more a colorful gal. But I knew you guys would want to see a neutral of something. And is that right? Tell me. So I got the neutral hourly, even though I wanted the colorful hourly too. I really would have bought colorful of everything. But one of my favorite things about Erin Condren is the colors, the happiness I feel when writing on each page. It's just a fun font, a fun print. It makes me happy. I also love that the colors flow with the seasons. I mean, look at this. This looks like October, you know? And when you turn to February, this looks like February. And I love the color switch. It's such a visual when the month switches. So I am a big colorful gal fan. But many people love the neutral, and the neutral is great too. I got it for my photo journal because I didn't want too many colors taking over the like Polaroid zip photos I was putting in and such. So, you guys, that is it. That is the end. We made it to the end. You guys are troopers if you made it to the end. And I know that throughout the year you will be seeing all these planners and follow-up videos and you'll be seeing a lot on Instagram. Let me know any questions you have down below. I'd be glad to help you with answering them. Um, let me know if you're using Erin Condren, which one you got, and if you're a neutral or colorful gal. I would love to hear. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This was a fun uh, video for me to do to see all this stuff. I honestly did not give myself any time beforehand to look through it. I just jumped right into the box since I'm already familiar with Erin Condren. I just jumped right in. So we were figuring this out together and those were my real first true thoughts. And so it was a really fun video for me to do. Happy planning guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.